Well, first of all, this is Jonathan. Um, question is, what do you think happens after we die? And how did you get to your present beliefs or non-beliefs about it? Whatever, you know, like wherever you're at now with what you feel about that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like uh, what you believe, but also what's your story, you know, as far as... Uh, I'll hear what you're saying. You're saying, where do we go when we die, if we die, and all that, right? When, yeah. when we die. Okay. Yeah, when we die, die, what do you believe we have a soul? Do you believe it goes somewhere? I mean, I feel like everybody has their own, like, thoughts and, like, how they believe it's going to happen and all this. They kind of worry about it, like, oh, man, I'm about to die. I'm going to die someday. Yeah. I hope and I wish certain things would happen and stuff like that. Um, Which makes my uh, question all the more interesting because everyone's got different yeah. you know, different experiences with that or you know, different things they've grown up to believe or come to believe. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this is all hit the question. I haven't thought about this in a while. Do you, do you have a, like a church background or a religious background of any sort? I wouldn't say religious. I would just say I'm, I'm very spiritual, very um, attuned to certain things, you know. Yeah. I try not to put a label on it. Yeah. I guess That's when why I say it's so background. hard for me to, like, right. answer your question. Because words. I haven't, like, actually thought about it in a way of, like, what will happen when I die, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to worry about what I'm doing currently, like, right now, in this yeah. moment, you know. Yeah. Um, I believe that nothing really ever dies. Even though it's pretty cliche to say, like, everything is reused, re... Changes forms. Reused, yeah. Like, recycled. So I don't think anybody really dies. It's just a matter of how the earth decides to reuse you as. Uh-huh. Um, I'm super cliche <laughs> saying right now. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to. I guess it's hard to speak about these things without avoiding cliches or spiritual words. I guess, but then, diff and part of the reason I I have these conversations is to, uh, so I go to a church nearby to kind of show that different people, even if people use the same words, they have different ideas what those words are. For example, um, I, I, I'd like to ask, do you believe in God? But then I'm going to ask. Well, what is, you know, like, if you do believe in God or a higher power, what, what does that mean to you? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, do you believe in God, would you say? I don't want to say that. I definitely believe that we all come from the same oneness, you know. We're uh -huh. all more alike than we are different. So we come from the same source? But not quite sure what that source is, or... Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You can't really put your finger on it. Yeah. Can't say like, oh yeah, this is exactly what this is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think? Uh, do you think you have a soul or yeah, a? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like you know that oneness is. Yeah. We call it many things. We call it the soul. We call it universe. All this, but we all have something like connection. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. So maybe. Yeah. So that would be another word that like that I kind of have to define. So. When I say, do you have a soul, I guess what I'm saying is, do you feel like you'll live in another, like, a spiritual dimension after you die and be able to think and have a conscience? You know, that sort of thing. I hope not. No? <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, no. I just feel like more and more for myself, I'm trying to eliminate things. So if I do all that, then at the end of my life, whatever that means, I'm still trying to think things through and have a consciousness. It's kind of like I did all that for nothing. Uh, so, you feel like you have a purpose? Yeah, I would say so. So it's, so it's like to, yeah. so this is interesting. I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly what you mean by those. But it sounds like something you're still working through too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's always a work in progress, you know. It's yeah. never like finite, like this is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, when I, and also when I say, do you have a religious background, I guess I'm wondering, did, did you grow 
go up in a certain way. You know, I've read them. No, no. My, grandma, my, my grandparents, they were raised from the south, so they kind of had like that old mentality of religion of you are your, you are your temple, you are your, your body is a temple. Your body is a temple and consider yourself to be um, connected. You don't have to go to a place to like worship God or whatever you want to call it. So yeah. I always came from that background of you don't have to go anywhere. You have everything you need, right? right? Okay. So you didn't like go to a church building or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, have you ever thought about things like, um, like where did, like, is there, I, okay, also I want to back up. So when I say, do you believe in God, do you believe in a creator? Do you believe someone created all of this? You know, like some, some intelligent being or higher power or whatever. Yeah. You would say yes? So, and is that creator the, would you say the oneness that you're talking about, or, yeah. yeah. Again, we're more like we are in our life. Yeah, when That's you say we, you mean everything. you, uh, us people and our creator, everything. or everything? Everything. Yeah. Interesting. So, um, I mean, and then also you were saying that you, um, you're trying to focus on this life, right? Do you, do you feel like uh, the part of you that will outlast this life, which I'm pretty sure you think so, uh, do you think that wherever you spend eternity would be important compared to this life? Like, so I guess... I, really, way, like, I hear what you're saying. I understand yeah. what you're saying. I, like I said, I really haven't thought too much past right now. You know yeah. what I mean? So... Yeah. When you talk about like death and stuff, I'm like, oh, that's like the furthest thing from my mind. Yeah. And if it, it will happen, I, w- I would like to say like I'm not attached to anything to be like, this is, oh my God, this is over. You know? Yeah. I don't want to have like that. Almost of, sounds like you have some like Buddhist leanings, which I don't know if you're familiar with Buddhism. It's, it's kind of like don't get attached. Like don't have a, I guess, say emotional attachment. Don't uh, have attachment at all. Try to get, try to get beyond your feelings, exactly. that sort of thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. A lot of try to empty yourself. You know. Is that so? Have you studied Buddhism? Or? No, but I, I know. A you nice, know a little nice bit of. Part of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't studied it. I'm just talking to different people. That's what they're doing. So, do you think it's possible that God? You know, like, I don't know. Do you have any like? think it's possible that God could exist like that? You know? Exist in what way? Like, uh, say a God that created everything, a God that made us in his image, so in other words we could have a relationship with him. Um, a God that would say we're not in a right relationship with him because we've broken his laws and gone, you know, the wrong direction. Uh, and a God that ends up you know, wanting to be our loving father, but at the same time as a judge and will judge us, you know, for uh, the, the paths we take, you know? Do you think that's possible, or? It sounds like a lot of, like, proclamation and stuff like that, what you're saying. Yeah. I'm not saying nothing wrong with it, you know? I feel like that's, that's your belief, and you have your right to your belief, you know? Yeah. Uh, I know for me, I just, I don't really think, again, think, too much through <laughs> stuff like that. It's kind of like, yeah, things just are. You know, you just here. I know it. Think. I know it sounds like, kind of like a, yeah, like a person who has all these beliefs. So I'm a Christian. I have all these different beliefs, right? Mm-hmm. I know it sounds kind of, I don't know, maybe arbitrary. Would you say? Kind of like, oh, well, you believe that? You know, that's like, why so? Well, yeah. Why stage. do you believe that? Right. So, so I'll just tell you, like. It's not anything that, um, so as a Christian, you know, like you read the Bible, you, the, the idea is that God has revealed himself to people rather than us relying on either maybe science, you know, like to discover truth or our imagination or putting all the different beliefs that are out there like on a table and picking and choosing like you like a buffet table, like you just kind of decide what you so, it's, so so the Bible actually says 
one of the worst things we can do, second, you know, the first thing we're supposed to do is love God with all our heart, right? Okay. Second, second one is don't create and serve false idols, right? Sure. And so a false idol would be like to construct a God or, or an image of God. Back in the day, it was like actual statues and to, to make him the way we want him to be. That's what I'm saying. And so as Christians, we have to say, you know what? I can't make God be who I want him to be. I have to accept him as he reveals himself to me. You know, and, and for Christians, it's like through the Bible. Um, we would believe that's God's revealed work through the Bible and then also through the person, Jesus Christ, you know, who is... If, if you want to know what God is like, as far as the Christian God, look at the life of Christ, you know? Jesus. Which, yeah. yeah. And uh, and I haven't really met anyone. I mean, you might be. <laughs> I don't want you to feel bad if you're the only exception. But I really haven't met anyone who really has much criticism for Christ, you know? I don't feel, like, I don't feel no kind of way about that at all, you know? Yeah. But here, here's something to think about. Here's a man who claimed that when we hurt each other, he can forgive us of that. In other words, he's acting like he's the one that's being offended. See what I'm saying? He, he, he said, you need me more than you need food and, and water, you know? Yeah. Now, if any regular person walked around talking that way, <laughs> we'd be like, who do you think you are, <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> you know? But Jesus actually said these things and he got away with it, you know? When people were getting kill for for taking fruit yeah 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 um that goes to show the, the power that he had he had a lot of yeah, it's like, still walking around with him it's yeah. like jesus is walking around acting like he's god and we don't think anything of it it's like yeah well that's jesus right, that's Jesus, right. <laughs> and that. and he backed it up by you know being willing to give his life for what he believed in and um and the bible says he rose again like he conquered death um, it's part of Christianity. We believe that, sure, you know. Sure, yeah. um, everything is everything. There's no separation. Just like with that, like the rebirth. The rebirth is saying like this life is nothing. Like it's just you do you do what you do. You live how you live. You believe what you believe, and then it, it can be done, shown. I'm not saying that I believe I can be reborn or something, but like just yeah. that story said like, hey, life isn't be all say all. Yeah, yeah. Right there, like this. Well, we all say so. Like, are you referring to like when Jesus said, "Unless you are born again, you can't"? Not that, but what you're saying with, the, with how God, how Jesus died and he came back again. Oh, the resurrection. Right, the resurrection. So yeah. literally, like he did a life, he died that life, and then he came back. Mm -hmm. Some would say the same life, but technically, it's this new life, like he's reborn. Yeah. So like everything is everything. And it's an interesting, it's interesting you bring that up because then he did say unless you are reborn, unless you, you know, like, a man asked him, like, how can I uh, be yeah, saved? Are, right. Unless you are born again, you'll never experience the kingdom of heaven. So he was saying, like, we're born physically, you know, like all of us were born physically, but then we need to be to our, born spiritually. To our, uh, we need to have a, a saying that we just kind of got to Right. And, that, and, that, and, that, and that, it's interesting he uses that... Uh, <laughs> metaphor because you're right like <laughs> we, we, couldn't we, have, want to. we couldn't have chosen to be born and not at all and 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 even after we're born it's like until we, we reach a certain age we can't even decide you know we just here like oh, we're man. here here i am how i get here and and i would i would describe that as my christian experiences and, and it's interesting also to bring that up like did i choose to be a christian and to believe all that i believe no it's more like i was born reborn as a Christian for me it happened when I was 17 years old and I found myself believing and believing what the Bible says and it's like I can't not believe belief you is know powerful, yeah. belief is powerful yeah people believe a lot of things and so I think that's that's an important point to understand is like when people have beliefs different from our own um, at least from our it's like we don't really choose those it's, it's like we were exposed to them and we found ourselves believing it. Like I had to say, I had to be honest with myself and say, yeah, I, I do believe, you know, that number one, I'm a sinner, that I've broken God's laws, which is hard to say. No one wants to 
you know, it's not a pleasant thought, you know, that I deserve to be punished, but that Jesus took that punishment for me. It's like, wow. That's love. Now, how can I, yeah, how can I live a life of gratitude for what he's done? And that's, that's, to me, that's, that's the Christian life. It's like a constant sense of wonder at like, wow, God's blessing me like this. How can, how can I show him gratitude? Yeah. You know, doing this work, doing what you're doing right here. I'm not even sure what class you teach, but you're doing. I something. teach history. Okay. Yeah. History. Um. And then, and then I go to the church nearby, and as a Christian, I do believe it's important to not just talk about our faith in church, but to get out and talk to people. And the reason I want to film it is so I want to show other people. Uh, other Christian people will, you know, we could have these kind of conversations anywhere. Yeah. yeah. And exactly. people like yourself are very open. And, um, you know, um, I just, I appreciate your opinions, you know. Yeah, of course. I appreciate and, you stopping uh, and asking. Yeah. Can, do you, do you, have you ever read the Bible or read much from it's the Bible? Of it, you know, a lot of it is just kind of spoken word. Mm -hmm. But I kind of get, you've the, heard. I get the gist of it, yeah. 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 For me, it's um, when I first became a Christian, it needed to be a habit of, because the Bible's a big book. It's actually a library of books, right? Exactly. And uh, and so we can't read it all in one sitting, obviously. Some, some uh, people, well, they, 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 they just, just, they just, they just, they just, they just, they just, they just, it seems like it, yeah, I'm real bad at that. But, um, but yeah, just to read it a little bit every day, um, okay. it, it's, to me, it's very different from something like a magazine or a newspaper that you read and you throw it away. It's like, no, every time I read it, it's like I get new insight, even if I... Like the same passage, yeah? Yeah, same passage over again, different stage in my life or going through a different experience. And it's like, it's like God speaking to me, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the, ex that's the experience of... That's like with the, with the Buddhists, what they say about like emptying of yourself. Mm -hmm. Every time you go into something, you always come in uh, like with a fresh mind, a new mind. Mm -hmm. You don't really come into it any kind of way. Yeah. That's why I like kind of, I definitely respect that. Yeah. And that's why I try to come in with everything, just kind of come into it with a fresh perspective. And yeah. Try not to put too much. Kind of for, you know, like I think for anyone, like we are getting the message of the world, secular message, which means basically live for today and forget about tomorrow. True. We're getting that. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right? It's like in your face. It's like yeah, this. it's yeah. constantly being drilled into us. And so we need exposure to something that's teaching us something different, you know? So the Bible is, is giving a different perspective. Don't yeah, live... I got to go in five minutes. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Not to cut you off. I actually probably should get going too, but uh, can I give you a Bible? Do you have a Bible to read? or? I don't have a Bible, Bible okay. but I'll take it just because I've, I've been sitting here <laughs> talking to you. Well, this well, is what do, I, I would just tell you that I'm, I'm not going to read it. Well, still, you, might, you might feel inspired, and on that hope, I will give you one, okay? Um, and this is just, I don't know if you're, you know, you know that there's an Old Testament and New Testament. So this is just the New Testament. But wow, most people sure. would say that's the place to, uh, to start reading. I want to give you this, too. And you know, the Old Testament is talking about... Uh, that's more stoning people and things <laughs> like that. Yeah. Well, it's talking about the, the nation of Israel and the different laws uh, that they had, the, the historical experiences they had, and uh, oh, you? Yeah. And that is my name. There you go. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I, I would love to talk more, especially if you see some things in there that are interesting to you. This is where I go to church, and uh, my number's on the back again. Are you a pastor? And, uh, no, but you got all all the weaponry right here. You just like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> got something for you. The weaponry. Um, well, as far as yeah, what give? So I have like a like a collection of things, and so sometimes when I'm asking different people their beliefs, like if you're an atheist, I wouldn't be giving you a Bible. I'd be giving you something to try to prove to you that God exists. You know that sort of thing. But I think you. To me, the Bible is. Most people that have a negative opinion of the Bible, it's based on other people's opinions. And, and so until you actually read it for yourself, um, you can't really decide for yourself. 
<laughs> and the brother just standing up there like Yeah, I he's, he's trying to ignore little sister. All right, I told Susie about her actions. <laughs> it's like I don't know her. Right. She keeps following me. Yeah. So yeah, so that's the thing is like it's like until we can actually read it for ourselves and decide for ourselves, you know, we're just going by other people's opinions. Exactly. And I'm sure that works both ways, positive or negative. We, we're in a, a awkward stage right now because there's so much information out there. You could literally spend years just going over the different variations of whatever you're getting you're right. into. So you're right about you that. think about it, people just don't do their due diligence when it comes to certain things. Yeah. A lot of people, they don't even, it's not even a question for them. They're just like, oh my God. And I, I do like to tell people, you know, like, even if you don't intend to take the Bible seriously, there's enough people in the world who do that it's worth, just to, just for, even if it's just to understand other people, it's worth reading. You know what I mean? I hear you, but we're getting away from that, bro. Yeah. Oh, we are. People are just so... Going off in different directions. Uh, yeah. Heavy. I, I was at the coffee shop right now. Everybody had a phone out. Nobody oh, yeah. really up like this so yeah it's hard to to do that now okay? yeah it's, it's really hard to say the truth i'm trying to get away from that too myself to i never really went into my social media, social media and all that but yeah. since i've been bounced around having a lot more free free time i've been like doing it a lot more so yeah yeah disconnect yeah yeah and i appreciate the real conversation it's not like we're online you know <laughs> yeah, I, I, People, I'm like uh, so straightforward on um, social media and like mm -hmm. texting and stuff that people just say, I, I'd rather talk to you in person because you're not going to yeah. give me nothing. I'm like, right. <laughs> exactly. Well, you see me in person. Yeah. I find it hard to really communicate with understanding, you know, as far Tell as like. And online. Yeah. About, yeah. Yeah. Because people don't know like body language or whatever, you know, it's like we you're just expression. talking about body language yesterday. Yeah. It's so important. Yeah. Yeah. It's so important. Yeah. So cool, and I would love to. I'll buy you coffee. You go to the coffee shop, huh? Yeah, I go to all of them. Yeah. Uh, Bridgeport, Jackalope. Yeah. I just want to cross. And there's gonna be a. Base. There's a couple more now that are coming in. Um, I'm not gonna go to those. You got the old favorites. Old favorites. Yeah. Old and best favorites. All right. <laughs> so good to meet you, Jonathan. Yeah, good to talk to you. And uh, yeah, I, I uh, I'm gonna trust you to call me. You got my number. Oh yeah, no all question. Right. And uh, Princeton, I'll reach out to you. Would love to talk email. more. Yeah, that's on there too. Yeah. Cool. And then when are you, when are you publishing this? Um, probably in like two or three days. It usually because it takes a while to like edit. Edit. I, I don't really edit it, but I um, uh, well, I trim the ends, and then uh, and then just up the uploading process and everything. So, um, do you want me to write the like where you can find it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. hell yeah! I would love to hear. Yeah, uh, input on, not input, but like how you put this together. Okay. I've got a pen here. Can you, go, can you just write it on the inside of this? Yeah. Plenty of uh, blanks to do. comes out it heats everything up sure does i was just about to go home and grab a jacket i don't think i'm gonna do that now no so that's my blog, that's, your blog? that's where i put it that's for you oh yeah <laughs> yeah and there's other stories of other conversations with people on there you can check those out if you want so all right <laughs>